Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm doing a water change. And I wanted to just <clears throat> share with you during this live stream the killing of green hair algae and a little bit came back, which is normal. I'm not nervous about it whatsoever. But I wanted to show you how I got rid of it. As a recap, And I'm going to show you what I did to kill it. And I've, I've heard that um, a handful of you purchased the hydrogen peroxide food grade of 35%. Man, look at those guys showing off for the camera. And in the link, I've included where you can get the hydrogen peroxide 35%. And uh, this is what completely kills off the green hair algae. There's a Fowlery tang saying, hey, what's up? There's a yellow tang. And the naso tang, of course, being the little show off that he is. So this is what the hydrogen peroxide looks like. It's 35% food grade. This will burn your skin a little bit if you get it on. Um, it's 32 fluid ounces. It's a decent sized bottle. And you want to get yourself a syringe. And you only want to put in 10 milliliters. I'm sorry, one milliliter for every 10 gallons. So that would be 10 milliliters for this tank. Any more than that? And, I mean, your corals don't like it. When I first dosed the hydrogen peroxide, I did maybe four times the amount. I think I did 80 milliliters in this tank, and I only should do 10, like, every few days. Um, so I did it too much, and um, the corals closed up quite a bit. But they're totally fine, and I wanted to show you that as well. You can see that I just turned on the light, but you can see the corals are looking beautiful. Zoanthids are awesome. That was once a colony of just like three heads, and that spread rapidly. And then we've got the star polyps. They're waking up. I am hoping that they do extend to the glass. They will. So instead of sand, I'll have a star polyp colony. But since I've got a little bit of green algae on the rock, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like again and how great this product is. Now, those of you who um, saw the video before when I had all that green hair algae, the hair was easily two to, to three inches long in places. The green hair algae was so out of control, it just exploded. I did everything. I tried the phosphate RX. That did nothing. I tried um, bigger water changes. That didn't do much because the green algae was so aggressive. I tried the refugium. That didn't do much. Refugiums don't do much at all unless you've got a massive one. I got rid of the refugium completely. Green hair algae was starting to overtake the um, refugium. Um, I used that flucanazole. That did absolutely nothing. My fish aren't going after it, so I got the hydrogen peroxide food grade. Now, what some people do is they usually will use the 3% off the store shelves, but I'm using the 35%. And you guys, this totally, I got this off Amazon. This guarantees the death of green hair algae. Now, I'm going to put a little bit in a little cup. Okay, I'm going to use... 10 milliliters only because my tank is 125 and you're only supposed to use 10 milliliters. I mean, one milliliter for every 10 gallons. But I'm going to show you how this just melts away the green algae. And I got my syringe. We got the 10. I got my gloves that go all the way up to the shoulder because I'm not sticking my hand in the tank anymore. I'm just going to put some right here. This stuff falls out 
So you don't have to really squirt it out much. And you're going to see it just eat away at that algae. So you don't have, you barely squeeze it because the, the peroxide is just going to fall off or fall down from gravity. It doesn't float up off the rock. So a little bit goes a long way. When I first started doing this, I squeezed a lot of the peroxide out. You're going to see, let's see it bubbling up. I mean, look at this right here. It's almost all gone. This completely eats away the algae. You might see the coral close up a little bit. The zoanthid right next to it. That's totally fine. See it closing up a little bit? That's totally fine. Nothing to worry about. And it doesn't bother the fish. I've lost no corals and no fish. And I used five times the amount of this stuff in my tank. So I just want to keep the camera on here so you guys can see it melt away. You don't want to get this on your fingers because it'll burn you a little bit. But it doesn't hurt the fish at all. Okay, you see it melting away? It's great stuff. see the zoanthids have closed they'll be open again in a few hours <clears throat> the last time I did this which was the first time I like I said used like five times the amount I used like 50 milliliters in the tank and uh, they closed up a lot more than this and it took them about a week to open up but totally fine they can't there was no issues no tissue damage to the coral nothing fish are totally cool so i just wanted to show you guys again how awesome this is no signs of green hair algae just a little bit of algae on the rock and i just wanted to squirt this peroxide in there to take care of it again just so you guys can see i'll have a link to this peroxide on amazon it's outstanding i highly recommend it when nothing else works this surely does all right take care guys and thanks for watching this guarantees algae death in your aquarium green hair algae you guys saw my other videos i'll put this in the green hair algae playlist you saw how bad it was it looked like a swamp it looked like moss all right it was it was a swamp i had three inches i had like green toupees all in my tank it was so bad this stuff melts it away anyway that's it have a great weekend enjoy the weather and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go finish doing my 10% water change now. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.